Hey everyone, Emmanuel here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing one of your websites. Stanley reached out to me and he asked me for help. He asked me if I could review his website and give him some feedback. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I think that's a great idea. If you want me to review your website, you can leave it down in the comments below. And, uh, uh, and for the next video, I might pick one or two to review and uh, give you guys some advice and some help. And some help. Um, I'm gonna tell you some things that you can do to improve your website. Uh, don't take it the hard way. I'm not trying to be mean or rude, but it's just things that you should change to make your website better. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Stanley's website and how uh, I would recommend for him to make it better. Okay, so here is Stanley's websites. We're experts in website design. So uh, this looks good, this first section here. Um, one thing that I would recommend is you're here, you're using two different kinds of fonts. Um, I would use the same font. You don't want to use like 10 different fonts on your website, you know, because it doesn't look organized. You have to have one brand image and that should be one uh, font or maybe maybe two fonts max. Um, but that's about it. Uh, also, this sentence right here, uh, I would make the font a little bit bigger. It's kind of small compared to this one. Um, and I would I would squeeze it in a little bit. Because uh, right now it goes all the way edge to edge, and usually people look at the middle of the page, so you want to kind of squeeze everything uh, down to the middle. Um, so you might want to make this just a little bit smaller. Uh, okay, so let's keep going here. So then we have the next section. Uh, again, we have another different font, and this one's also another different font. So that's four different fonts already. Um, and then you have this empty space right here. So you can either make this go all the way across and or center it or maybe put an image or, or something here. It looks kind of weird having text here and then an, an empty on the side. Um, that's another thing that I would fix. Um, this is fine. Uh, I would give this a little bit more space so it's not so close to here. And here we have another different font. That's six different fonts already. And this is another different font. That's seven. So you got to organize the fonts, pick one or two fonts, maybe one font for the headings and one font for the text. And that's it. Uh, next, as far as the colors uh, so far, it's pretty much has been black and white. Now you're adding purple, which is fine. Um, and I, this line up here is blue. Uh, also with the colors, you don't want to have too many colors. Um, so pick uh, two or three colors that are going to be, those are going to be your brand colors and just use those in the same places. Uh, if you have a bunch of different colors all over the place, it looks unprofessional, it looks disorganized and people don't really know what to focus on. Okay, so we have website design, SEO, e-commerce, strategy, photography, and meet our team is the next section. So these are like the services. Um, so what I would do, uh, it looks kind of odd that they're all like stacked one on top of each other. Um, I would put them maybe in columns. So maybe three services, then three services, then three services, uh, instead of having them just like that one on top of the other. Um, so I would fix that. Also, instead of having these icons, uh, I would try to have an image instead. Um, you know, an image that visually describes SEO or, or an image of you working on a website. Uh, or an image of an e-commerce website, how, uh, image of your team doing strategy, or uh, some examples of photography. Uh, instead of just having a icon of a camera, you could have some photos that you've taken, and that way when people see photography and they read the description, they can also see some examples right next to it of photography that you've done. Um, next we have our team, and our team is really close to this section, but really far from the team pictures, so I would work on the spacing there as well. Uh, another thing that I noticed right now is that the whole background is white. So it's all one long thing. Uh, I would break it up into sections. So maybe uh, the background here could be a light gray. Maybe the background uh, for a section could be like a faded image. Um, but just to kind of break up the sections so it just doesn't look like one long block of information. Okay, so here for our team, uh, you have three pictures and there's three pictures of your team. Um, these look pretty good. One thing that I would change is uh, all three pictures are different sizes. So this one's bigger, this one's kind of in the middle, this one's small. I would make it so that they're all symmetrical and they're all the same size, so they look organized. Um, now we added another color, which is yellow right here. So we have purple, yellow, black, and white. So a lot of colors. Um, and then this is another different font here, it looks like. Uh, another thing that I noticed is that you have social media links for each person, but if you click them, they actually just go back to uh, the same website. They don't actually go to the social media. So if they have social media, link it on there. If they don't, just remove the, the button. There's no point in having it if they don't have actually those accounts. 
Um, now here, see, you use the black background to create a separation. You know, this is a different section, so you use a different color. That's kind of what I meant when I was talking about separating with background colors the different kinds of sections of your website. Um, so here you have, uh, we design websites that work, okay. Um, you, here you have a picture of a, a stock image of an iPhone with a game controller on it. I think you could use a better image, maybe something that's related to websites like a, a business owner looking at their website or somebody programming or coding a website, something like that. Um, and also the image has a box shadow right here that is white. Uh, you can probably get rid of that because it would look a lot nicer if it was all black and then the iPhone was just kind of floating there um, or the computer screen was just kind of floating there. That would look a lot cooler. So that's what I would do. Um, now we have, this is the end of the website. Uh, again, this title is really close to the other section. It's kind of cramped. I would give a little bit more space uh, between the title and the top and maybe use a different font that looks a little bit more professional. Um, the contact form, again, we're using another different font right here. So you want to really uh, figure out what font you're going to use and just use that one. And you have your name field, and then you have your email field, which is super long, goes all the way across, and then a text field. So what is text? I don't know. Um, so I would make them all the same size, or at least make them grouped. Um, I would probably put an image or some more information here to contact you, maybe a phone number, an email, any other form of contact that you want to show. Um, instead of text, I would uh, actually give instructions like send us your message, tell us about your project, something like that, because text, Text, what is text? Is it, you want to text me? You want me to write some text? You know, what, what do you want? So you, uh, I would here, I would put kind of what you want people to send. Um, and uh, yeah, then the submit button is another different color because it's a different shade of blue. So we have blue, yellow, black, white, and purple, a lot of colors. Uh, so minimize the uses of fonts, pick just one or two fonts, pick two or three colors, and that's it. So it doesn't look too crazy. Uh, next, we're going to go to the About Us page. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so the first thing that I notice is that you have About-3. So that means that there's at least three other About pages on your website. Um, and I, I want to wonder that if I write About-2, if something else will come up, I wonder. Maybe not. Maybe it's been deleted. Yeah, it's been deleted. But you want to fix that. You don't want it to say About-2. I mean, About-3. Um, you just want to say About or About Us. Um, but you don't want to have extra numbers and digits in there. Um, all right, so the first section, we have a picture of a city, the stock image. A city doesn't really have anything to do with you, your team, or the service you provide. So I would change that picture to a picture that is actually related to what, what your website is about. Um, also, the About Us is kind of on the bottom. I would put it at least in the center so that it's centered. And also the background is, uh, these buildings are kind of dark and the text is also black. So it's kind of really hard to read this center part of the text because uh, there's not enough contrast. So I would make the background image more related and I would change the colors of the font uh, to a contrast color that is easy to read. Um, and also, again, there's another different font here. I think it's like eight fonts now. Um, then we have a question. Who is Stan Designs? I don't know. Who is he? Uh, and this is kind of like here floating by itself. Now here we have another color, light blue and uh, yellow. So you have here defining Stanley and some words that you want to use to define yourself. And then here you have some information uh, about your website. So this part is good. I like this part. This part is something that customers want to know about and they want to learn about your website. Um, customers, they really, this is not really going to help your customer. Like if you're uh, humorous and innovative and ambitious, that doesn't really help somebody who is trying to hire a company to make a website. So I would focus more on making this the main idea, like about my company, about my services, about what I can do for you. Um, it's all about the customer. Um, and then this, I would change the color because you have yellow and blue and it's kind of hard to read. The contrast is not good there. Um, and I would, again, pick the colors that you're going to use and not have too many colors on your website. Uh, next is the contact page. And we have a similar issue here. You have contact us, s, us, s, s. So, you know, that looks unprofessional. That's not obviously not the correct way to type it. Um, I would delete the page if you have an extra page that's using up the URL and just correct the URL so that it looks good. Uh, here we have 
uh, two other different fonts. So we want to correct that and make the correct font. Um, this one is centered, so that's good, but it's a different size than the previous one. You want them to be the same size across so that your website looks organized. Uh, this one is wider than the previous one, this, this section. Um, and you have a background image of somebody uh, using a phone. That's, that's okay. Um, next, we have some yellow text. Want to see your business online. Uh, a different font with some gray text will help you create uh, your website with strategic solution and then allow us to help you make a good impression. So here you have one color of text and one font. Here you have another color of text and a different font. Then you have this other text here with a drop shadow. So it's kind of, it's too much. It's like one font is this way, the other one is that way. It's like everything is screaming to get your attention and nothing stands out. So I would, uh, you know, only have one headline. Um, this is the contact page. So if somebody's on your contact page, that means that they're almost ready to contact you and maybe uh, be your customer. Um, here's where you want to put a lot of information about what you do, how you can help them. If you have testimonials, you can put testimonials of other customers so they can see that you know, you're trustworthy and they can make the final step in contacting you. And again, this form, you want to um, fix the form and you know, make it look organized like I mentioned earlier. Now, the last button here is a call us now button. So if I click here, um, it goes to a phone number and then my computer will try to make a FaceTime call. But if you have a customer whose computer can't make internet calls, um, then this button doesn't really help them unless they're on a mobile device. So if a customer wants to call you and they're on a computer, they there's no way of them calling you. They can't call you from your website. So you wanna have your phone number on this page. You wanna have your email on this page. You wanna have social media accounts on this page. You wanna have every possible way that the customer can contact you needs to be on the contact page. Um, so that they can choose whatever method they prefer to contact you and then they can contact you using their preferred method. The harder you make it for a customer to contact you, the less likely they are to contact you because customers don't want to go through hurdles to just to send you a message. They're just going to jump to the next person who makes it as easy as possible. So those are the major things that I would recommend changing. You have to, number one, uh, get the fonts fixed, you know, get your fonts organized. Number two, Get your colors organized, you know, pick the colors that you like and use those colors. And number three, you want to use some more images and some uh, colors to separate your sections. Right now, it's all like one big thing. Um, your About Us page, same thing, get the colors and fonts fixed. And for the contact page, besides the fix, uh, add all the extra contact methods that you might have. So um, I hope this helps you, Stanley. I hope you can improve your website. I look forward to seeing the updated version of your website. Uh, in the future. Um, if you guys want me to review your website, leave it in the comments down below. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Uh, tell me what your website is about, and I might review your website for a future video. Uh, my name is Emmanuel. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.